TV from the Color Television Center, Omaha. Dr. Blood seemed to be a good name for a green-faced horror movie host until a crossword puzzle required an eight-letter adjective related to the word blood. Sanguine inspired the title Dr. Sam Quinary. Ah, ah, guy's crazy. Now we better get back to the night's nice movie. And it's a Hummer. Hmm. Right it was wild, it was frantic, it was old-time television. I mean, it was back in the days when television was really fun. And it was completely whatever entered John's mind, he said. John was wild, but he also wore his heart on his sleeve. And any fundraising events and so on and so forth, Dr. Sanguinary would make the appearance. So I see you're wearing your Dr. Sanguinary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. What does it say here? Well, you've seen him before. <laughs> and then you were wondering, can we air this? Because things got pretty wild. For 10 years, from 1970 to 80, the doctor presented horror movies late on Saturday nights. John and several other directors at KMTV would concoct crazy ideas for the studio segments, and then sets and props would be fabricated. The sets involved the old-time television equipment that we threw together in archaic scientific uh, laboratory. The only image you saw of Igor was a rubber glove. There was always, there was this conflict between Igor and Sanguinary. 12 or 13 years old, and my friend and I were hooked on Dr. Sanguinary, and uh, he was, he was an oddball, but he was kind of cool. And Sanguinary was going to have like a little firecracker go off as a mortar explosion or whatever, and the helicopter pilot decided to pull a switch, and he had like a dynamite cap. We're just out here to entertain you, and I think that's maybe why the show did so well. John was having a good time. John Jones passed away in 1988, but through his fans, friends, and videotape, his memory lives on. Say good night, John. Good night, folks.